Hi, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker, and welcome to another edition of On the Job, the show where we talk to Phoenix employees about the work they do every day to serve the community, working smarter, saving money, and being kind to our customers. I'm here today in Water Services Department, and at this time of year, we're all conscious of water. I'm here today with Gary Jin, a hydrologist with the Water Department. Thanks for joining me. Sure. So tell us, what does a hydrologist or a hydrogeologist do for the City of Phoenix? Well, uh, originally my job was to essentially uh, identify areas where we would find good water quality and high productivity. So we would uh, essentially install new wells and tap into uh, aquifers. So Gary, how many hydrologists are there in the city of Phoenix? Well, uh, really, I'm the first and I'm the only one. Oh wow, that's, that's great. And a hydrologist is a technical job, a lot of engineering, but are there other aspects that are not less engineering? that you work on? Yeah, so I actually help serve not only Water Services Department, but the City uh, Manager's Office and the City Attorney's Office. And I work a lot on uh, policy formulation, dealing with uh, technical analyses, uh, also administrative analyses for uh, future planning. So uh, everything is all related to water use, water supply, and what our water rights are. And so we don't think about that much, but that's very important for us in Phoenix to protect our water rights and make sure the groundwater is protected and all of our water supplies are protected. Absolutely. So you're searching for water, uh, places where the water is good or where it might be plentiful. And how much groundwater do we use in Phoenix? Is groundwater a big source for us? It's really not. You know, we use about um, between 3 to 5 percent groundwater and the majority is surface water. So what's the importance then? How does that fit into our overall scheme to have that small amount, but it's important, I'm guessing? Absolutely. So we basically use groundwater for, as a drought supply, and basically what we identified about um, seven years ago was that uh, water levels in some of these aquifers have been declining for the last 32 years consistently. And so if that supply is being diminished, then there's just not enough drought supply for the future. So you won a City Manager's Excellence Award. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And it was for a project that had to do with groundwater. So tell us a little bit about what that project was and how it benefits Phoenix. Sure. So originally, wells are essentially used to pump water. And what we created here at Water Services is a well that is a dual purpose system. So what we essentially do is we take water, uh, potable water, and we would essentially inject that water into the aquifer and during times when we need that water either during the summer months or maybe during a drought we would essentially pump that pump that well so we got really great efficiency in creating a well that can do both storage recharge and pump groundwater um, whenever we need it so we think mostly of wells pulling water out of the ground but you actually are putting water back in sometimes of the that year. That is correct. And what is the advantage of that? What does that do? So we talked, uh, I talked about how water levels are declining um, over that 32 year period. What we've actually done now is sustain the water level. And so what happens is that um, the energy costs that we're expending before is not as expensive now. And so what we're experiencing are, are savings in, in energy costs and we're uh, not spending as much money maintenancing our pump. So it's, a, it's banking water into the ground, pulling out when we need it, and saving money by being more efficient with our energy use. Absolutely. That's great. Now, those, all, those of us who are desert dwellers, we don't often think about the mechanics of water, but show us a little bit about some of the uh, equipment you use to get water in and put water back. I think you have something to show us. Sure, about. sure. So here's, um, this is actually an example of uh, actually a really uh, well screen. And essentially uh, we have these slots and this is where water will actually flow into the well and the pump is actually in the middle of this casing. And so that pump as it spins pulls water from the uh, aquifer and then lifts it up to the surface. So what we've been able to do is create uh, and engineer a solution where we can take potable water and then physically inject it back uh, through this well and then out into out the uh, aquifer. And you guys have done some creative things with uh, new media that also save us money. Tell us a little bit about these two right. 
sure. pieces of so history here. This is uh, what we call as filter media. And, and this material is installed on sort of the outside of the well screen. And it's supposed to prevent uh, fine grain material from destroying uh, your, pump, your pump equipment. So the, the so, water flows through this in here and it keeps all the exactly. gunk from getting in. Exactly. Okay. So, it's, so this used to be sort of the Mercedes of filter media. But Phoenix now uses what we call highly engineered, uh, what we call glass beads. Yeah, it looks different, right? This is more in a natural occurring and this is engineered glass. Engineered glass, okay. that's correct, yes. And what is that, what's the benefit over, what's the Ferrari's benefit over the Mercedes here? Yeah, so what happens is that we can actually clean the well much faster uh, and retain better productivity in the well over time. Uh, what happens is these wells tend to clog a lot, and so you need to have mechanism uh, or um, material where you can unclog that well really quickly. So what happened in the past was that it took about 30 to 40 days to actually unclog a well. We've actually uh, reduced that time tr tremendously down to um, three hours. Wow. Right. That's a huge savings That's in electricity savings. and time, right? Exactly. That's fantastic. Great innovation. And you guys are the first ones in the country to That's, use that, I that understand. That is correct. That's yep. amazing. Well, tell us a little bit about your background. You haven't worked for the city of Phoenix your entire career. You did some other things before you came to Phoenix. Yeah, so um, I spent uh, three years with a gold exploration company, finding gold deposits in Canada and, and California. Uh, and then I decided to go into consulting, and I was a water resources team leader for a private company. And we developed a lot of resources for power companies and municipalities and uh, federal agencies. Um, but then I saw an advertisement for a hydrologist in 2006. I was really excited to uh, go on this new adventure and work for the city of Phoenix. So you've been with us for eight years working on great projects like this mm -hmm. and using your background to uh, do better work for the, for the city. That's Absolutely. tremendous. Well, thank you so much for sharing your job with us. Congratulations on winning an Excellence Award. Great, thank Appreciate you. it so much. If you'd like to learn more about our Water Services Department, what they do, or about the City Manager's Excellence Awards, go to the website on your screen, phoenix.gov. For On the Job, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker.